Hey, long riders, welcome back to another fly. I know I always tell you guys to be creative, think outside the box. Well, this fly is going to be definitely outside of the box. But don't go away when I tell you the name of the fly, because I guarantee it's going to catch fish. This is the earplug fly. Now, don't remember back to the mop fly? Everybody's tying now, catching a lot of fish. This is going to be the bass killer mop fly. We call it the earplug fly, and let's get to the vice right now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put the hook through the earplug, just kind of like if you were baiting something, if you never bait fish, but you want the hook to go into the flat part and come out the back. As you can see here, the, that earplug got all deformed. Don't worry, sit back, enjoy a beer, or smoke a cigarette, or go out and get a drink. By the time you come back, that earplug will just puff right back to the original shape. This step is very important. I put finger glue, or super glue, on the hook shank, and I'm going to slide the earplug forward onto the super glue, and that will keep it from spinning or anything else around the hook. As you can see, it came to it back to its original form. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take either any kind of like a needle, um, and you're going to get it red hot. I use a torch, um, torch the needle up. Be very careful you don't burn yourself. I use my forceps. I use to take hooks out of the fish's mouth and put the needle in there, and then heated it up and shoved it through the side to make a hole. Now you're going to take them same forceps, you're going to put them through the side of that thing, through that hole. And when it comes out the other side, you're going to grab, I have like what I used as uh, worms, just the rubber legs, and you're going to stick through there. Now you're going to do the same thing in the, as far back as you can, almost to the back end of this earplug. Gonna burn another hole. Now you're gonna put your forceps through there again, through the hole, pull the rubber legs through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some super glue. I pulled the leg through to one side a little longer. I'm going to put super glue on the long side and pull that back through the body of the earplug. And that will keep your legs from moving. I'm going to do that to both legs. So I trimmed the front legs to about an inch and a half and the back legs to about three to four inches. And anybody look at this fly as it's in the vise here and tell me why a fish would hit this? Any guesses? That's right. It looks so much like a frog. Watch. I'm going to catch a massive amount of bass on this 
fly. It looks just like a frog. It'll float. It's going to be deadly. And uh, pretty easy to tie. Hope you like that fly. They're going to be deadly on the water. Hey, go check out other flies like this one we used in our fishing videos. Click the link below. And go check out our fit latest fishing videos. Keep your lines wet, out of trees, and only give them fish. A sore lip. And you all have a great day. See you later.